81. Be educated. To get education is one of the basic human rights. Being educated and acquiring knowledge is essential for every man and woman. Education for all is required to develop a country. Democracy cannot prevail without education. A man becomes a good citizen through education as a plant grows through nursing. National and international education are integral. The world is proceeding fast, so we shall be left back if we don't de-educate ourselves. Learning up to a wide range is required. Economical, political, social and educational policies are the stronger hindrances towards education in comparison to the linguistic hindrances. Dividing education system through class, stream, layers the rulers hide their futility in globalization. Investment in education gives a high profit in the undeveloped and underdeveloped countries. We can solve many of our national problems by using our huge manpower after educating them. Through education men become his own friend. Education is the combination of some theories and practical procedures. Literature and mathematics are the foundation of education. Listening, speaking, reading and writing are very crucial for eradicating illiteracy. A teacher who is able to create curiosity for learning among learners, is a successful teacher. To attain the elements of perception of good emotion, education system plays an ancillary role. It is the function of liberal moral education to achieve excellence by creating capability. The real function of education is to show the direction to the students where they like to advance. Instead of the customary traditional education, life-oriented education should be introduced that is conducive to develop thinking power. Education is the best process to do welfare for men. Emphasis should be given to the education system for amusement, values and autonomy. Mechanical and monotonous education system spoils the natural and spontaneous pleasure of children. Parents and all do judge education according to the financial and materialistic scale. The existing education system put emphasis more on acquisition of quality than development of creativity and talent, so there is no scope for development of latent qualities. Real learning creates generous cosmic life-leading aspects, the present education system creates parasites. Suspicion, thought, search are the continuous learning process. Education is a valuable asset for a man. Education controls and discipline. Education teaches a man to be tolerant in all situations. Only the educated persons are independent and wide-minded. Education flourishes the man's personality and motivates him to work for social welfare. Education is spreaded more and more in a country if opportunity of higher education is there. Higher education does not teach us to compromise in the question of principle. It is better not to start professional and conjugal lives before completion of higher studies. Don't you differentiate between an aristocrat and a scheduled caste while acquiring knowledge advice and education. Nature is in front of us. We can learn more from nature than from books. Education is the mental eye, it does not make any mistake. We are to carry on learning process throughout a long time of our life. There is no end of learning. You may have learned a lot you should remember that yet you have to learn many thing more. You can learn many things from your seniors or juniors. You can learn something from every individual and in this regard you have his disciple. You can't teach a man anything new but you can only help him to exercise his brain. One can simply show something to another, in fact nobody can teach something to anybody. You are to be teacher of yourself. There are many things to learn from what you are seeing every day, you are to observe these things. Learn from a slave, and then you will be able to become a master. There are something to learn from the nature of the dog they never leave their master even after long hunger guard the houses of their masters spending sleepless nights and don't ask for food from somebody else even after being beaten by their masters. Can eat much yet remains satisfied with a little food gets up quickly even in deep sleep obedient to master a symbol of power these six qualities are to be learned from the dogs concentration to the target shamelessness devotion for collecting timely carefulness and tireless endeavors thesis five things are to be learned from the crows 
If an eagle does not take lesson from a crow if required that will have to suffer for it. Monkey is intelligent lion is courageous. Jackal is cunning and tactful. Elephant is strong. Dog is having a strong sense of smelling and hearing. Snake is fast and eagle is sharp. We should learn the four things from the cocks. Those are fighting rising early, eating together with the friends and to save the distressed woman. We should go to the ants should observe their movements and should learn something from them. Ants are united, psychotic food in the summer and enjoy in the winter. We should learn the three qualities from an ass. They carry load restlessly, don't eat bother for the summer or the winter and are always satisfied. A deer does not enter into the mouth of a lion. Whatever the job is more or less a man wants to do should do it sincerely. This is to be learned from the lions. A wise man keeps all his sense organs under control. Wait like an egret. Do your duties according to the place time and your capability. We don't take lesson from the life as such our education does not become full-fledged. It is better to be rebuked by a wise man than to get lesson from an ignorant man. Education and merit are the greatest assets of a man. We should learn something and exercise it in time. Acquire knowledge and wisdom before being a leader or a responsible person. Education is an eye of the mind. We should not feel shame to learn, because ignorance is inferior to that shame. Our learning process should be regular like our eating, drinking and sleeping. We start getting the taste of a food as soon as we give the first bite to it and our bellies starts reacting before it is fed. Human body becomes free from diseases by medical treatment and human souls and intelligence are flourished by education. The ability to listen everything keeping the temperament under control without losing confidence. Nobody can acquire wisdom and efficiency without education. Loading the brain with many information of different subjects and allow them to clash with each other throughout the life remaining in an immature stage cannot be called learning. Good ideologies and thoughts are to be made so much matured so that they can make a proper human character and lifestyle. The primary intermediary and final summary of education is to learn to think about others' welfare. He who has not learned that is an uneducated. He who has not learned to think about others' welfare may be a scholar, an intelligent man but he cannot be called a learned man. Europe and America been developed with this kind of education. Nowadays education has gone away from practical life. The education which does not strengthen a soul and widen a man's way of thinking is not education at all. Education is the beauty of young man, consolation for old man, wealth of the poor and ornament of the rich. If utilized properly education will make the young man thoughtful, courteous, laborious, careful and self-confident. And it makes the matured people beneficent and cheerful. It is helpful for prosperity means to overcome obstacles, a pleasant way of passing time gives pleasure in loneliness and creates wisdom and tolerance in a man to face all situations. Observe your surrounding, awake your power of thinking and your inner sight will be strengthened. Education makes them polite and guides who are obedient, good listeners, try to realize something, having a good power of understanding, having foresightedness, having the power of taking decisions and mentally stable. Education helps man to get a clear idea about society, civilization, life and nature. Education is the prerequisite to make a considerable conscious and analytical man. Mass education is essential to bring the wisdom efficiency and attitudes of the people up to a required standard. There are two sources of acquiring knowledge informally from the society and formally from the schools, colleges and universities. A minimum institutional education is required for everybody to flourish his life. Education should be delightful, creative and a media of acquiring efficiency and knowledge. Energy, emotion and a strong determination are required to acquire proper knowledge. The proper system of education is to impart knowledge with the relevant meanings and explanations. We can control our sense organs by following the instructions of religious books properly. A man becomes educated by listening to advices, by understanding its meanings, by remembering it, by realizing it through analysis, by imagining the untold thing, by giving argument and response to others' argument and by engaging oneself and finding out a clear knowledge about a subject. When endeavor is given to suitable person he can be made a polite and educated man. 
Proper knowledge is acquired through listening repeatedly and mental stability comes from proper knowledge. Immature brains are flourished by listening to religion's teachings. Remembering something without understanding its meaning, taking class in a particular room for all the time, imparting education by a low-paid teacher and providing short notes as a shortcut way to pass examination, stop the mental flourishment of the students and make them unfit to face the struggles of life. And a dependent slavery attitude grows in their minds. Sense of prestige does not grow in a man unless he is properly educated. Education is valueless to them who want to pass an examination by unfair means. Education is nothing but to hit a student's brain. A student wants to be able to explain properly the reaction of this hit. His mind reacts more than what he can explain. The teachers who measure the standard of education by the results of the examinations only, also don't understand it. Boys of our country take education for a job and girls for a bridegroom. So, the boys don't keep any touch with books after getting a job and the girls don't feel the necessity of education after her marriage. Our young men have passed through the ordinary schools of our country, so they are habituated to remember their lessons without understanding it. Undergoing the prevailing system of education of our country, our young men don't dare to think over anything and don't gain efficiency of doing any job. They feel relived only by repeating the wordings of the books. Everybody does not undertake a noble task if he is educated. It depends much upon his nature, intelligence, attitude and ability. Education is mainly related to what is unknown to us. No civilization can be understood without reading and writing. Process of education will be easier and comfortable to the students when they will think that the purpose of education is to acquire knowledge. Educational institutions are the industries for making educated manpower and the supply sources of demands of state and society. If it is defective it will make the people weak and crippled. A school is nothing but a factory for imparting knowledge. The factory opens after ringing a bell. The factory starts and the teachers keep on talking. The teachers stop talking when the factory closes. The students go back to their home with a few pages of education produced by the factory. Then this education is assessed and is branded. A degree means a commitment. This agreement is not the institutional success but a worldly recognition. It can't be weighed. Schools are the only medias for making man civilized. Educational institutions show the way only the student are to acquire knowledge throughout his life by seeing hearing and learning. A university is the center for practicing free will and independent thinking. Freedom of will and independence of thinking spread from here to all walks of life. University are the center for austere endeavors for knowledge. Students' thoughts are controlled here by three philosophical matters internationalization, required knowledge and the future society are given importance here. Nowadays we recognize the countries as progressive ones where unrestricted spread of universities are there. Universities are as essential for a nation as food and drink. Militancy forces an institution where discipline is taught. A teacher's successes is not teaching only but to make his students able to acquire it. Influence of a teacher does never end. Relation between a teacher and student should be rather on the basis of regard and affection than that of fear. A student cannot repay the debt of a teacher if he teaches ever a single world. A teacher's debt can never be repaid. A school teacher is a technician who shapes a human soul properly. A teacher can't burn the light of education within the students if he does not have the light in him. So the root of all educational reforms is the idealist and well-experienced teachers. A good teacher shakes the minds of his students and gets all his hidden power awakens. In this process the student develops his mentality himself and learns according to own way of understanding. A student is to grow the habit learning by himself. A teacher is his predecessor only. If strong ideologies do not remain in the students it can't be expected that they will have ideologies in their practical lives and future. It may be apparent that this bad tradition cannot be discontinued. In a society where is no ideology and if a man is derailed from the track of good moral character in his young age, later on it causes distrust, 
corruption, bad conduct etc. First of all we should introduce mass education otherwise no permanent prosperity will be there. Mass education is the foundation of political, economic, religious and social development. If this foundation is not strong enough, no development will last long. No expert technician starts building a house without making its foundation strong. Proper education of the young generation is the strong foundation of a nation. Educated young men are the foundation of every state. Strength of foundation of every state depends on the educational standard of its young generation. Education enlightens a man gives him a bright future and self-confidence. The more the students pass the examinations the more the education is expanded but passing the examination and being educated are not the same thing. Question of life and death of the nation is connected with education. To educate the citizens is a social responsibility. Education builds up one's life and makes way for his livelihood. Education without ethics creates indiscipline in a society. Education and civilization is the heart of a nation. Self-discipline comes from education and training. Multifarious education is the best education. Physical exercise makes a human body active along with one's mental and moral improvement. All education and training programs should aim at solving the prevailing and the probable problems of a society. When somebody gets the opportunity for educating himself he can show his superior intelligence and creative power in different spheres of his life. Education without thinking is meaningless and thinking without education is dangerous. Every well-educated man is a self-educated man. Self-educated men are educated in fact. Education gives a status to a man in the society like dress do. We should not grasp the traditional way of education tightly but should be educated according to the demand of the time. The main object of acquiring knowledge is to use it for the prosperity of the world. Such lessons are taught in the traditional syllabus, which do not exist in the world at all. So it is unsuitable for the present period and its practical requirements. Practical knowledge on economics and public relations that is communication skills are very much required along with book knowledge. Knowledge on finical matters is the mental process by which one can solve his financial problems. This knowledge is acquired from within a family or a community not from any school or from any other academy. Schools give book knowledge and vocational trainings and Domchi give practical knowledge on financial matters. As such those who don't have even a little training on finance can show a good efficiency in practical life in this regard even after securing good marks in their student lives. How will a nation exist if the responsibility of educating its children lies on the shoulders of poor teachers and illiterate parents? Practical knowledge on agriculture weaving blacksmithy, carpentry, pottery, science and technology and computer should be compulsory in the different stages of our educational syllabus. This practical knowledge should be given partially in an education intuition and partially in a related working place nearby to the educational institution. As a result every student will be efficient in different trades by physically working on those fields. Women are engaged in easier professions as they are weaker and the men are engaged in harder ones. Inducing such kind of theories in the syllabus is the effective way of education. The main object of education is to convert the acquired knowledge into action. Education is practical matter. Theoretical knowledge only does not serve the purpose, but its success lies on practical application. An educated man without exercising his knowledge is like a warrior without a weapon. It is of no use to remember a definition if it is not properly applied. Those who learn something and act accordingly are learned men in fact. The education which enables people to face the struggle of life efficiently, which enables one to be self-dependent is the proper education. Learning process goes through reactions, reforms and adaptation. A man's behavior as well as his learning process are elective. From the very beginning of education students should be made habituated to lead a well-disciplined life. Lessons on both self-control as well as good examples and ethics are also required. The main object of education is to build good characters of man. Education started with lessons on sermon and ethics. 
The main object of this is to introduce codes of conduct for the members of a society and thus maintaining social discipline and peace. The students should be given clear ideas on moral values, social regulations, right and wrong, rights and duties, honesty, sincerity, discipline, punctuality, etc. Education should be started with physical exercise and self-control. The process of education should be imparting knowledge to the students in a natural way and through pleasure. All kinds of prejudice are to be driven away and a new social system is to established by a wide expansion of education. Learning through moral process of life is the practical education. The education which conducts a student to the right path determines a bright future for him. Proper education is that which enables a student to take proper decisions independently and according to his own intelligence and consideration. Education is nothing without ideology, diligence, livelihood, psychological continuation. Education is an ever-flourishing process as demanded by the time in a suitable environment. Mere imparting some theoretical knowledge is not the object of education. Education means flourishment of the students. One can be enlightened with education even at his home if he is interested. The main object of education is to do something not mere getting some theoretical knowledge. The education which cannot enable general mass to face the struggles of life effectively which does not form a good character with a man does not motivate him to do something for others is not education at all. Education is that which enables a man to be self-dependent. Education is bitter but its fruit is sweet. An educated is no doubt a wealthy man. If you want to learn something first of all try to understand then observe and then follow it. Only education can materialize a man's full potentialities. Can make him an efficient and capable engineer to create social wealth. As a land cannot give crop without being plowed even if it is too fertile, a man cannot do anything remarkable for the society if he is not educated. Training can make people proficient in many trades. Proper training makes education successful. Tolerance and cooperation are needed for training. Sermon should not be wrongly explained to serve one's personal interest. When a verse breaks its rhythm, it can't be considered as a verse. Repetition of a particular word excessively in verse make it unattractive. We should learn phonetics to pronunciation all words correctly. Study the concerned religious books to perform a particular religious function. Grammar of a language teaches us to read write and speak in a language correctly. We should study concern books before starting a literary work. We should also study the books regarding rhythms before writing a verse or a poetry or a song. There are six chapters of astrology. Education makes a behavioral change in a person to react to an external stimulant. The physical change occurs due to the response made to the internal stimulants is called psychophysical reaction. Most of our behaviors occur due to relative reactions. Establishment of communication between the stimulants and the reactions is called learning. Education is a process of making new habits with patients. The permanent change, more or less made in a person's emotions or behavior as a result of exercising his past experience, is called learning. One should learn a language from a scholar of that language. Try to understand the proper meaning of each word and sentence. Education is pronunciation of sounds and its object is to materialize the heard words. The main object of reading is to remember the contents and to justify it according to the relative theories. Basic knowledge grammar, prosody, astrology and power of imagination are required to acquire the power of understanding. Intelligence forms an idea about the meaning of a word through analysis with various elements perceived in different occasions. Learning is a process of ideas. It is easier to learn some interesting matter out of some unattractive thing. Learning process can be controlled with the help of reward and punishment. The process of expression of an occurrence or a thing from the past experience is the remembrance. It becomes easier to remember a matter to be learned by repeated practice. The more we want to practice upon a learned subject the more we shall forget it. No knowledge strengthens without practice. One can success in his student life if he studies regularly. By underlining the necessary points of chapter we can arrange the important points of it. 
a young student should divide his daily working hour into three parts, namely study, meal and play. A student should avoid sex, anger, greed, taking tasty but unhealthy foods, love play, joking, too much sleeping, as well as eating. Enthusiasm, self-confidence and will make a student successful. A mother's education is the foundation of his child's future. A child learns a thing directly. It is easier to educate a child through games. Clear perception and audition and repetition are necessary for remembrance. Education is not limited to acquiring skills only. Acquiring good attitude, codes of conduct and a good mentality are also included in education. Austere, endeavor and efforts for rectifying faults is learning. To make education permanent, deep-rooted and widespread it should be given through the mother tongue of the students. Mother tongue is the mother breast in case of education. That mixes up with all the activities of the nation. When a mind is active it can easily accept and digest the subject of education. As the cows should be allowed to eat grass grazing freely along with its selected foods likewise extracurricular education is also essential for students in addition to their prescribed syllabus. There should be some variety in the syllabus. We don't e have any delightful matter in our syllabus which we are passing through since our childhood. We are only remembering what we consider essential. It serves our purpose somehow but we don't e become mentally flourished through this process. Our system of education should be such which will gradually make us conscious and lively. The education which will nourish the students physically as well as mentally is education in its real sense.